G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and this video is about providing a great environment for your chickens and also other poultry like ducks. Now, by a great environment, I don't mean getting into the chicken pen, their feeders, drinkers, and that type of environment. What I'm talking about is the environment outside of that. And as you can see here, the hens here are foraging through long grass. And if you look closely, you can see the moths and the insects that are flying around as they disturb the foliage. This is what chickens love to do. They love to scratch in the dirt. They love to forage through grass and long grass and disturb animals and then try to catch them. It's fun for them and it's also food. This is part of their natural behavior. And I know every yard is different and some people keep chickens in small suburban backyards, which is still great. And others like myself keep them on acreage. But I think wherever you keep your hens, you can still provide a great environment. For example, if you've got a small backyard, you can still fence off a small section of it and let it go wild like I have here. I haven't mowed this section of lawn for several months. And I've just let it go wild. A small section of lawn in a small suburban yard could do exactly the same thing for a small flock of birds. So you've only got two or three birds. You only need a few meters of wild area in your yard for the chickens to have a great time. Now we're just heading on down to the back. And you can see in the bottom right hand corner I'll have a duck dam. And this is great for the ducks of course. But this video really isn't about that. It's about the chickens and how they use a the water feature. The chickens really do like seeing a water feature in their foraging area. They use it a lot to drink from. They prefer it almost to going back inside the pen and having a drink from their clear water drinking cups that I provide for them. They really do love a water feature. So you could have a small pond in a small backyard. You could have a, a bucket even with some rocks and plants around it that sort of is on a solar system and trickles in. I just genuinely believe that chickens love water. It's not just the ducks. Of course, if you've got ducks, well then, a large pond or feature like this is perfect. But it's not just for ducks. And you'd think that chickens really wouldn't benefit from a water source, but water sources attract insects and other little animals. And hens do like to hang around water features, not just to drink from, but to find little frogs and crickets and other things that live near these type of water features. Another thing that I think is important is some shade of, of any sort. In this case, I've got it provided by a very treed block and I deliberately located our chicken pen a decade ago down here because of these reasons. I knew that the trees would pose other issues such as fallen leaves and branches and even fallen trees. But the dappled shaded environment definitely outweighs any fallen tree risk or debris making a mess down here. All the fallen leaves add to the mulch which 
adds another layer for the hens to scratch and find worms. The shade gives them plenty of protection from the harsh sun we get here in our hot climate. But there's also ample areas for the hens to sunbathing because they do like to sit in the sun and get a good bit of vitamin D. At the back here of the pen you can see how it's blending into the background. I've deliberately done that and I do let vines and other type of native plants grow around the pen structure. Here's it pulling back a bit outside of the dog proof fence that I've got around the foraging area. And this is just down the bottom right hand corner. It's probably three quarters of an acre or maybe half an acre fenced in. Yes, you do have the odd tree that'll fall. That one fell recently in a storm. It wasn't across the, the chicken pen or foraging area. Just missed our beehives. But that's a risk that I'm willing to take. If we walk around the dog proof fence, which is fox proof through the day. Foxes don't like to climb a six foot high fence. Through the daytime anyway. And that's why I can get away with having the hens out and the ducks out through the daytime. Here. At night time they get locked in a fox proof uh, pen. Which you can you can see through the background. And the ducks are going up now to probably go into the pen through the front of it uh, where they can get their feed and get protection if they need to. And you come around to the bottom left hand corner and you can see the other side. You can barely make out the pen in the middle there. And that's a view from the front. So I hope you enjoyed this video of the environment that I think is appropriate for hens and chickens. Like I said, not every place is the same. And I'm not saying it should be exactly like mine. I'm just saying take into consideration things like wild growth areas, water features, and shade. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Also share and subscribe. Bye for now.